Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to Freight Forwarding and Crastorio 2. In our last episode we got uh, electric mining going, as well as our real smelting arrays, which feels pretty good. Um, I was just exploring up here because there were some black uh, bits on the map, and I wanted to make sure there weren't any hidden biter nests, and I figured since I'm up here already, we might as well remove the natives from their... Uh, entrenched locations here. Uh-oh. Didn't need to trigger that yet. Um, but, uh, yeah. We will be hopefully automating science here pretty, pretty soon. Uh -oh. Want to get shot. Here are these. Yeah, I think we did it. Nope, there's still one more worm. Two more worms. Take care of those myself. Okay. That one, do that. And then get some more going here. Get some fish. They love to shoot me. Turrets, come on, they're the bigger threat. They're the bigger threat. Oh, we're not close enough. There we go. Easy enough. Shovel up creep. I like how I call it creep tech. Oh, it is called the creep collector. Okay. Maybe it should be called the biomass collector. Because creep is totally a, a StarCraft term. It's a good term, I guess. I know other games have used the same terminology for a similar type of thing. Get these repaired and we will kill that other nest and then we've got i think the whole east side of the island cleared out is that right no there's still one more base way over there but i think that's it and who knows there might be other ones like tiny little i haven't fully explored the island okay <laughs> different kind of creep dave <laughs> But yes. I am a weirdo. I don't know if I'd call myself a creep. But... Oops. Oh gosh. Hey, Ray One. Good to see ya. Oh, oh, oh man, I almost died. Jeez. Not paying attention. Ooh, these are almost dead too. Wow. Just barely kept everything alive there, including myself. Also, almost out of repair packs, and of course I'm out of stone. I can get more stone though, that's easy enough. Here's a rock. There we go. All right, so the biters are mostly cleared out of this part of the island, which feels good. I can pollute to my heart's content. All right, pick up these turrets, and we should be good to go. Uh, my island is not quite biter free, but it's close. Uh, there's still a base over here, base down there, probably another base or two somewhere in the in the un undiscovered areas of the island. Maybe I should, since I'm already over here, at least scout the rest of this side. 
Ooh, looks like Biter's expanded. Looks like they've been doing some expanding. We won't let that, won't let that live long. Okay. And then, see if there's anything over here. Looks like that's a no. out this base to the east and just make sure there's no other hidden bases and that should do it for the, the eastern side of things okay, all the worms are in the back of course how it always goes hey blazing cookie thanks for the follow It, I mean, one gun turret is not that big of a deal, but you know, I feel I feel like I I have to protect them. It feels bad to lose one, even if it doesn't matter. All right, we got it. Face down. It'll be nice to to not have to deal with combat for a while. I kind of like being able to just clear the island and then not have to worry about defenses and then we can go invade other islands and then do combat again. The bit of an ebb and flow rather than the regular factorial gameplay where it's just a constant element. Okay, so that's clear. Do I need to check down here? I guess I do. Uh, so we'll go do that real quick. I also need to check these little blank bars make sure biters haven't expanded i guess it's also possible biters have expanded hmm when do i get a car not for a long time okay hoping maybe that would be sooner because biters could have expanded into the fog uh after like yeah like this one right here and so there might be some bases in places I've already explored, which is potentially bad. Hey, Yivri, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Have you been streaming at all recently, or have you been taking a break from the whole content creation? Cover the map in radars. Yeah, I guess that's the solution. I also did get um, the Big Brother mod. I added that since the beginning of the run. I guess it's not called Big Brother. Uh, but there are upgrades for the radar coverage. And there is an advanced radar in Crastorio, but we wouldn't get it for so long. I felt like I wanted to get better radars a bit earlier in the tech tree. And that way we can get a bit more coverage. Given the si the scale of the map that we're dealing with, it feels reasonable to have um, better radars. Thank you for the follow, Titan Twitch. Taking a break because of mental health. Haven't streamed since January. Yeah, I totally understand that. Everyone send Yivri some hearts in chat. FF has an advanced radar called Seismic Scanner. Oh, interesting. I just assumed it would be called radar. Oh, but only through connected land masses. So that still really doesn't do what we want because what I want is to scan 
over the, over the water. <laughs> maybe maybe it's cheating, but I want to scan over the water to see where the islands are without having to explore as much. Okay, well, we are going to slowly walk down here and make sure there's no more biter bases. Well, Yevri, I hope you uh, are able to take the rest that you need. Very important. Looks like Biters did another little expansion here. Easy enough to take care of. Good time of day to you. Yes, exactly. Good time zone. Whatever it is. I'm doing well. It is a pretty chilly Sunday, but other than that, nothing in the report. Wait, basic radar requires oil processing? What? Does it really? It sure does. All right. Well, I guess we won't be seeing radars for a while. Um, and isn't oil locked into the offshore oil rigs? So am I gonna need a boat to find? Uh, find oil to to build radars because I don't think there's any oil on the landmass I think it's only in the water or if it is on landmass it's not on your home base landmass your home island <laughs> we're gonna take out this base explore the rest of this someday we'll get back to playing the factory part of Factorio you'll find some oil along the shore Oh, I'm out of aim. Okay, die, die, die. And they gone. Fighters exterminated. It looks like there's a little base over there because they expanded. Okay, it is in the water, yeah. But it's like near the near the island. Yeah, I did some basic exploration of what the heck what the heck the map looks like. Uh, so I like I generated one and I went into editor mode and just kind of explored the map because I was curious, like what is freight forwarding even doing to the map? Uh, so I did notice that oil was outside the, the island and in the water. That's gone, and finally, we'll explore down here. I feel like there's a decent chance there's a base along the shore. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're good. Seems like we've got nothing to worry about, unless, ooh, can the biters cross over the shallow water? It looks like they can, so this is a base I have to deal with. Um, I'm not going to deal with that right now. We are, we are not going to hit that with pollution for quite a while. Speaking of boat, when do we get a boat? Looks like not too far from now. We we need the green science and then the transportation science, which is a new type of tech card that we'll have to start automating. But let's do it. Let's automate things. We're going to need a lot more of these. I'm just going to handcraft all that I can while we're walking. And yeah. 
Ooh, stretch redemption. That's always a good, uh, good redemption. Oh, everybody stretch your right arm and lean and then stretch your left arm while holding W and lean. Oh, man. Stand up. Do some squats. Ah, drink some water. Very important things. Our base is not doing anything right now. Everything's backed up. I also made these extra boilers. So we'll do that. Uh, I have the Yeti, the basic, whatever it's called. Uh, looks like this. I don't know. I don't remember what it's named. I guess you can't see it. This one. Blue. The Yeti Blue. Um, and then I got a little stand, movable stand thing for it. And I just played with settings incessantly until I liked what it sounded like. Mostly. Even then, I still don't know if I'm totally happy with it, but it, it, work but it works. So it's hashtag good enough. I also think I have a decent ear for sound stuff. My dad actually was a sound tech for a while, so I grew up around bands and uh, I ran sound a few times. So I have a little bit of an ear for that sort of thing, which I think helps a little bit too. But even then, it's really hard to uh, do your own sound stuff because like listening to yourself talk, you're like, you always feel like you sound weird. Um, even though you don't <laughs> to other people because the way your own voice sounds is different than what you hear inside your head when you talk so it's always hard to figure out all right so let's pick the labs up so these will be moved somewhere else And then just for now, I will grab some iron and copper and we'll still use the little mini mall that we set up. Make some more inserters and belts. That should be enough there. You need more copper, iron. Make more automation cores. Grab those belts. Make some more power poles. And I think that should, should be good for a little while. I do need undergrounds and splitters automated as well, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, okay, so we have our basic resources. And we will finally be able to make a little production line here. I think the initial production I want to do is one per second. No, maybe I'll go for two per second. Let's start with two a second and see how that looks. So we'll go ahead and plug that into hell mod. And I always forget to do this. You need to turn on the decimals, which is really annoying that it's not on by default, but I like two decimals for everything. I actually wish the element number would go up to three decimals personally. Um, maybe I can request that be a change that they make, but these are still whole numbers. So that's good. We need one <laughs> making cable and then 16 making blank tech cards and two a second on the wood which is gonna be three greenhouses. That's not too bad. I might make another couple greenhouses. We have, I guess, eight running. That's enough. And I will just put this all on a belt. Ah, that's not what I wanted. That's what we wanted.
Okay, and then I'm going to move those over. Move these over. Uh, good question, Dave. I have no idea. Ah, tab, search, wood. Click. Uh, yeah, there's only one with fertilizer for the... And that's after blue tech. Need some biomass for that. Okay, so there's all of our wood on a belt. And then what I'll do... is uh, have a splitter here. And it'll output priority right, which will go to the factory, but then all of my extra will go to power. Because it's free and reduces pollution. So there's really no reason not to. I do think I also want to go both sides of the belt here. We'll put these four. Entity is not a Spider-Tron. Really now? Could have told me that before. Uh, looks like we've got an extra control bound to shift Q. Spider-Tron pipette tool. Yeah, we're going to have to change that because that's what I use to change the drop uh, position. Maybe I'll go with control S. Alt S. Alt S sounds good. Um, and then we'll merge these guys with priority, input priority to the left. And then that should, should be good to go for powering off of the extra wood. I also think it would be reasonable here to have a wood buffer for power, just because um, or should I put the buffer here? No, no, because wood is slow, and so there will be periods where I use more and periods where I use less, and I want wood to have a little bit of a, a, a buffer going here. Buffers are so much easier with loaders. Look at this. Um, I can literally just do this, and I do input priority right. Or no, sorry, output priority right, input priority right, and I think that's all we need for buffer, right? I think so. So basically, in times where this belt is taking all of the wood, we'll have a chest full of wood to kind of supply wood to the power source still which is nice and did these all get connected nine megawatts is that right no we should have more than that right yeah we should have 15 i am not doing something right now do we have 15 yeah there we go okay so there's wood i think at least for now. No, we'll, we'll do full belts of everything. Wood and coal will each get their own belt. And then stone. I already know we're going to need stone for things. So I'll bring stone in over there eventually. And that's all of our resources. Uh, we're going to do definitely more organized, Dave. So more in the bus direction for sure. Um... Which direction do we go? It won't be like a full-on bus, but it'll be at least bus-like. Bus For now, I'll do two lanes each of copper and iron, and then these will be a separate uh, section. When do I get red belts? Uh, not too far away. So that, that'll be plenty, I think, for now. 
and red belts have plenty of underground spots. I am going to need steel and other things. Oops, that's one too high. All right, so initial science build will go here. And... Is 10 too much? 10 feels like too much, but I will space everything out eight before I like have the first building from the edge of the bus. Um, that space just comes in handy later, either because you need to expand the bus or you need to do, I don't know, a variety of other things. I know that wasn't very clear, but you, you always need more space, let's be honest. I'm just like clicking randomly. I don't know where my brain is today. So we're gonna need um, an input belt and an output belt, and we'll use long inserters. So we should be able to do two in, one out. For each. Nope, we only need one in. There's only two ingredients. Um, so let's do it this way then. And then we get one power pole. Should be all we need. Am I missing something? I think we're good. Uh, and then we do that, do that. If you're curious, I use Shift X as my hotkey for longifying and shortifying the inserters. And this one needs copper. How much? One per second. So that's two inserters. Or a sideways inserter. Same thing. And then the output needs three. And then we need to bring wood. On the close side. Put that there. Oops. Okay, get rid of most of that wood. And then I believe that's all we need to do. But this is a chunk of four and I needed 16, right? Yes. There's our 16. Oh, this feels good. We're playing real Factorio now. We ain't messing around no more. Missed some inserters. All right, and I'm going to do a ghost. And item on ground as just a handy, make sure I didn't miss anything, finder. should do it. Why are these not running? I guess it just takes a minute to saturate their input input doodads. And then we definitely want to put this on a single side of the belt. And that'll go underneath. Well, maybe it won't go underneath. We don't need to bus it. Where should I put all my labs? Mm -hmm. Labs can go I don't know. I guess for now we'll just put the labs somewhere over here. Call it a day. Or should I put them back here? 
Uh, because then as I go to the right, then I do need a bus backwards the science. Maybe that's okay. I don't hate that idea. Uh, so we'll put it a little bit spaced out. And then we're going to have need for three belts pretty early. So I'm just going to start with the three belt setup, which is a little tricky. Um, without having medium pulls, but I think it should be okay. The middle one should provide space for the poles that we need, right? Or I guess I can even put poles here. I don't need that one. You think it looks nicer with the two long inserters behind each other? Oh, now there's an idea. Yeah, I'd have to stagger it, though, if I was going to do it that way. Because uh, the middle gets in the way. Um, right? Because these two lanes, then... Like, I can't put those there, because those are grabbing... I like it to be symmetrical on the left and the right, and this wouldn't work for that. Because I would need two here as well, and then they're all just running into each other. So... Yeah, I, there's not a world where I can do this symmetrically, because the inserters will be grabbing from inserters. So that, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like it. Um... So back to the original. Was this what I did? I don't even remember what I did now. Uh, does this work? No. Well, wait a second. This will never work if it's symmetrical, because the inserters that are two spaces away will always be grabbing from each other and not a belt. So I guess there, there's no way to make it, uh, sadly. There's no way to make it symmetrical. Well, I guess I have to give up on that dream. I had a dream. Um, so we'll just... We'll set it up however we can, I guess. Undergroundies on left and right. Yeah. I think we'll do it like this, and then... No, that doesn't work. Like this. So we've got... No, that doesn't work either. I guess I can do it like this. Does this work? So we've got close, far, there's middle. And you've got far, middle, and 
close. Okay. That's good enough. And then I can do 4x power pull setup. Pretty sure I did that right. I guess we'll find out. And we are going to have nowhere near enough underground. So let me get to crafting those. Get the inserters placed. Oh, I'm out of belts too. Grab some more plates to make all the things. You never use two rows of labs? Oh yeah, I will definitely be using two rows of labs in this playthrough. For sure. the rest of my iron and should be good oh i hate daisy chaining the labs because it, it create it introduces that micro millisecond where they don't science properly especially if you have too many of them daisy chained or they the lab speed too high or whatever Just inconvenient, isn't it? <laughs> yes, now you know how to trigger me exactly. All right, I'm just going to throw these in here. And that'll do it. Basic science is automated. Woohoo! Um, why don't I craft some more labs as well? So let's see, I've got four, so that's six more. Uh, so that's 10 more, so that's uh, 30. We'll do 40. 40 labs. And now we will build the second science card is somewhere in here oh it's not called card what is it called it's still called science yeah it's one of those like the name doesn't match the name it's called automation science pack but the name in the game is automation tech card and it's kind of weird i think you can change what you search for here does that work no it still doesn't fix it when you Oh, that's just translated by yeah you can't select like whether you're searching for the name or the the item name underneath the hood anyway same thing happens in fnei can get annoying okay to a second here still 16. um this is all pretty standard stuff I'll just pin that and we can go to town. I don't think there's anything I need to do that's special here. In fact, it's two ingredients, so I'm going to copy this. Uh, and we'll just use the same setup. Um, I will... Let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six total.
How much space do I want here? I don't know if it matters too much right now. Okay, so we need one making cores, which needs two different inputs. Now, blank tech cards will be made in a lot of places because we're going to need them for all the other tech cards, too. But I don't know if I want to automate them everywhere. These both need copper. Uh, so I can do it that way. Okay, no, that needs to go there. And we'll put copper in the back. Hey, Daniel Dances. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, that's a good point, Dave. I probably should do that. Maybe, maybe uh, we'll do that in the near future. At least for this build, we'll make them on site. But that's very reasonable to do that. Grab them, output them. And then same here. Now I sure didn't leave myself much room to output automation cores, did I? Did I now? Oh, I'm also not grabbing the copper yet. Auto cores compress stuff well, but the white cards do not. Yeah, you mean in terms of like item density. Yeah, blank tech cards are less dense than plates even. Okay, so now we can grab that guy, plop it down. Four, five seems good. Right there. Oh, it's going to feel so good to just be able to queue up science. Recipe. Move this over. Yeah. Yeah. This looks much cleaner. And I can do that. Okay. Sweet. This guy, kind of annoying, I guess. How do we manage this? Being on the proper side. You know what? I'll just switch the sides. It's fine. And then I do like a little bit of a buffer for science. What do they stack to? Oh yeah, it doesn't show you what they stack to. 
I'll just let it be a full chest, to be honest. Okay, and then I need to pick these up because they're all in the wrong lane. Sweet, sweet. all the way to the end. That'll do it. Okay. Congratulations, me. This is backwards. There we go. Oh, are these too slow? These are too slow. Um, inconvenient. Given how I placed all of this. Not fast enough? I think so. I check anything else for needing multiples? I think this is okay. Yeah, 0.5 input, input, 1.5 copper input. I need point, I need 1.21 in, that should be okay. 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Again, just barely enough there. Um, Point eight gears in yeah those should all be okay. Sweet. The other thing I need to do is take off the beacon line here. Just gets in the way. Alright. There you go. So we've got science fully automated. Let's do some research. Uh what do I want to do first? Nanobots. For sure, nanobots. No question. No question about it. And I will leave room for beacons. Five squares. Um, I, I do have the beacons rebalance mod. It's part of the official freight forwarding pack. And so that will change quite a bit how I end up doing beaconing because it does basically what space exploration does, which is, if you don't know, it makes it so that each building can only be affected by one beacon. And that obviously changes the builds quite a bit. What's up, Trippy? Yeah, yeah, the 20x science for sure is going to modify the scale of things. Yeah, I like it too. I think I think the vanilla beacon stuff it's maybe fine for vanilla, but it gets even more ugly and tedious when it comes to mod packs for sure. But even for vanilla, I don't really love it. Okay, and the next thing we need to automate is a mall. That should do it for the labs. Just have this carry on. And with the power poles always seem to be exactly in the way. Alright. 
There we go. So now I got 40 labs. Do we have enough power for all that? Nope. Uh, we're also not supplying... What is, what is going on here? Oh, it's the insertion rate of wood isn't enough. Makes sense, I guess. Um, let me get proper number oh gosh, of inserters. I guess I can disconnect it manually. Um, I've never really found inserter brownout to be that big of an issue. If if it happens, you just go by and throw a bunch of coal in the boilers. Um, what's the bigger problem is this one. And so these I, I need to have on a separate network. And so what I'll do is craft cable, disconnect that, and uh, this. Okay. So now this is able to power the pumps. And technically that one's powering the pump too, but that's more just that I need to make sure it can run. Even if we're not powering anything. Okay, so that should sustain the 15 megawatts, which is still not enough, but it's at least properly happening. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we need 20 steam engines. We'll just go for it here. Get some big power going. And let's see, how much do these take now? They take 20 water, so a lot less than vanilla. Does that mean steam has a different energy density? Because they still produce 1.5 megawatts. So it has to, it has to mean that. Because they, they use a third of the water of a vanilla boiler, but produce almost the same amount of power. But yeah, that, that that does mean that does mean that. I also think I'm gonna shift to a horizontal build here rather than a vertical one, because my bus is going to the right. So we'll switch this. B make a little bit of space like this. Two more, four more. Do it this way. You need a few pipes here. the outer ones as well. And definitely need some pipes. Cue to front a little bit here. Can't do underground pipes for a while, so we'll have to wait on that. Just gonna do a separate pump because it means I can keep closer. Use less pipes. Means I need one more of those bad boys. Oh, I'm out of probably iron. Yeah. Now what's going on here? 
Oh, I don't have enough ore. Okay. That's fair enough. And then, what's going on with the wood? Looks like it's being utilized properly, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I think we're almost there. A few more pipes, power that. And then place those. Okay. And now we're just waiting for the rest of the steam engines. Sweet. Okay, that should be a lot of power, right? That's three, nine, that's 18 more megawatts, and I can easily scale that sideways. A full belt of coal can provide at most because now there's six a piece, so 15 times six is 90 megawatts of power. Ah. So that's our maximum. And wood is going to reduce that. Uh, so that is, I guess, part of the problem of wood. For now, I think we're okay, but we'll have to stop using wood at some point. Uh, because the belt density of, like, the power that you can fit on one full belt is a lot smaller with wood. That's what we're trying to say. And these are not connected. Let's fix that. Hey, nanobots are finished. Just like that. But we'll get those automated soon, and that will feel great. The fun thing about uh, this... I'll handcraft you to start with, I guess. The fun thing about the science multiplier is it didn't feel like we had nanobots from the start. Uh, I do love nanobots. Sometimes people feel like you get them a little too early and there's no none of the having to build by hand, but we had to build a decent amount of base by hand and now we'll have nanobots and that feels good and we can automate them. So I do think this is probably a good time to end the episode. Um, that carry the bus forwards here now I'm going to be oops wait yeah no, that's, I think I'm gonna try to do minimum underground distance rather than maximum sometimes I do try to maximize uh, underground distance. I'll do something like this, obviously, to try to help. Um, but like this one, rather than spacing it out, I think I'll just have it always be the shortest possible underground. So there we go. Seems like a good place to end a YouTube episode. I'm going to keep streaming. So for those of you on Twitch, stick around. But for those of you on YouTube, um, yeah, leave a comment, follow on Twitch, support me on Patreon if you want. Uh, I never will complain about that, but, you know, no big deal. I love you lurkers, too. Everybody that watches or engages in any way, you are very much appreciated. I love you all. And we are going to call this it. So I'll see you guys in the next one, where we will be automating a mall. Thanks for watching. I didn't hit the button.